Hey ya folks, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Frostpunk 2 in our tale of New London. We are partway through chapter 2, and honestly, things are looking pretty good right now. Which is why I suspect things are about to take a turn for the worst. Before we continue, once again, a big thank you to AMD for sponsoring this series of videos. I'm having a lot of fun with this. And if you'd like to try your luck at winning a free Frostpunk 2 themed graphics card, you can find a link to the sweepstakes down below. Of course, you can also learn more about the game, which... At this point, it's released, so I'm hoping to see a very positive reception, but maybe go give the game a buy for yourself, or finish out the series first. It's up to you, I won't complain. Alright, so we did do things pretty well last time. We got our economy in a really good balanced position. We are also pumping a good amount of oil, but I've also seen that the temperature has dropped and will continue to drop, so we're going to need more oil. So if I go back to the oil dreadnought, there's a few things we could probably be doing right now. Wouldn't be a bad idea to start getting some more expansions for our extraction districts. We're researching the pump jacks right now, which are going to boost up my oil production dramatically. But we're also going to need more workers, I'm going to need more housing, and we'll probably need things like more heat. I kind of wonder if it would make sense to place down things like, let's say, some rail hubs to get more oil, transport hubs to get more workforce, and then a heating hub in order to try and reduce how much heat this is requiring, because this does demand a lot. All right, no doubt about it, this does demand an absolute ton. So this would cost me mostly materials, but with enough materials, this would boost up production efficiency by quite a lot. Very tempting. We should also go back to the Frostlands and continue exploring. What else have we discovered? A Windward Moor. Uh, let's see, the area contains resource deposits, but they're inaccessible. I'll bet you if we had decided to embrace the Frost, we might have been able to do something with this. Maybe. That is a shame, but okay. What about here? A possible settlement at an IEC smelter? Let's see, uh, mine to create the generators once upon a time. We could take some cores. That's a lot of cores, four and 500 prefabs, or restart the machine to generate materials. Now, doesn't that sound exciting? Ooh, I like the idea of having cores, but unlimited materials sounds good too. I wonder how many materials this makes. Maybe a lot, maybe not. We could get some more coal over here. We could get some prefabs. That could be useful. We'll go ahead and just say, sure, let's do this. One prefab a week, though? That doesn't feel like much. That doesn't feel very worth it at all, actually. I don't know about that one. What we discover here, silver automatons. Under the snow lies a convoy of automatons with imperial livery and tarnished silver hulls. The ash top mountains, if no one arrives, seek survivors. Interesting. Repair the automatons to gain workforce. Huh. Well now, that's interesting. We could also take the cores. Huh. We'll hold that on to that in case we, we don't know what we need at this point. So we don't need either. Let's just hold off and we'll decide later. Plague shacks. Population that is undeclared. It looks like in its uh, ideology. So I'm not sure if we're bringing in New Londoners or Frostlanders. That would make more sense based on the fact that it says Frostland Dwellers, but I don't know that for sure. In the past, it said. Uh, we could also inoculate if we had a law. Okay, what else have we discovered? Anything? No. So we can continue exploring or I can start getting some more outposts. For example, getting more materials and stuff would be good. There's something tempting about all that for sure. Um, I would like to have more materials. We already know that that would do a lot for us. We could also just start salvaging some remains. I'm gonna upset the stalwarts, and I don't really care. It's fine. We'll just go ahead and antagonize them. Dismantle this. Tension goes up. I don't really care that much. Let's just go ahead and get the extra prefabs. And what else can we explore? I mean, there's a lot more territory to go. The Cursed Valley. Some plains with potentially a lot of stuff. Ridge lines. No one knows what happened to the Explorer Rowit, or Rowit, or however you say that. I want to know what this is. Let's go ahead and launch that expedition. Always looking for more options. Exploration is key. That's how it was in Frostpunk 1, it's how it is here too. Family duties. Oh, look at the little child holding a wrench. He wants to help. That's cute. Uh, let's see. School's fine and dandy, but what are we supposed to do with him after hours? Let the children participate in doing maintenance, but then we are not as good at decreasing our material demand. Eh. Uh, no, the children belong in schools. And then when they're home from school, you guys should be parenting them, okay? That's how this works. Are we almost out of coal here, by the way? We do only have 87,000 left. It's not gonna last that much longer. Well, let's start hunting for new ways to get more materials. So we have a couple more areas we could break up over here. I could work my way to this infinite source, which doesn't seem like that bad of an idea. 
I do wonder, by the way, does it make sense to have a district with other uh, nodes on it? Because if this ends up having, what was it, 100 million resources on it, it doesn't increase the rate at which you gather, does it? So all you'd be doing is wasting the other nodes because they're completely overshadowed by the fact that you have a deep deposit. Maybe. 277 here. 75 from the deep mining drill. Okay, that is worth a lot. What about over here, though? See, 367. Yeah, I, I feel like it might be better to have a district exclusive just the deep deposit and not waste these. We could have a temporary district that just extracts everything here and this will be on its own. I don't know if that's true, but I kind of wonder if it is. On the other hand, if we just grab all of this and then expand it out there, maybe we get the best of both worlds. I don't know. I have no idea if any of that's correct. I also should start thinking about getting some of the infinite food sources here, too. That's all going to be important. Well, I am going to start transferring some more people over here to the Dreadnought. I'm fairly sure we're going to need at least a few hundred more, not only to run all of the hubs and stuff I want to, but also uh, it lets me frost break some more areas, and we're going to need them for the pump jacks. The whole point of the Dreadnought is going to be to provide as much oil as possible. And actually, to that extent, the trails that we have right now running the city have a limited capacity to them. If we take a look here, I think the max we can send is 250 or 234. Is that right? Well, either way, it's something along those lines. The result will be that we need to get an upgrade, and that's where skyways come into play. So if I go to ideas and go to our hubs, no, city... Society, where is this? Frostland, there it is. Skyways, right here, would basically be a highway that has much higher uh, capacity for additional resource transfer. So when we start producing way more oil than we know what to do with, that's what we have to do. We have to actually build up the skyways. Basically, there's a lot of things we need. Maybe we should get some more research hubs. Yeah, I think we should, actually. It might be wise to just go ahead and start researching a lot faster, because it seems like there's an absolute ton of technology that I want to get. Okay, we did say we were going to vote on Dutiful Youth. I do want that. New Londoners, are you willing to vote for anything? Uh, an advanced fracturing pump jack. Synthetic composites? I'm not going to use the oil for that right now. City development. I don't like any of these. Can you can you vote for some? Can you request something else? Please? What about the Frostlanders? Dust coal mine, refurbished goods, Pathfinder scouts. I don't really want this either. Ugh. All right. Well, I guess we'll do this. I need to get this. Uh, we'll go ahead and vote for it. Whatever. This improves up my workforce by a pretty good amount. A lot more children are able to start working. So if I go to scout training over here, we can get the Pathfinder scouts. I don't like that better than the pa uh, exploration time. It seems like our territory threat level actually might be down to the minimum. But whatever, we can worry about something like that later. The generator number two does need to get upgraded at some point. People are demanding this now. 15% extra surplus of production is pretty darn good. There's no way around it. It is good. But I'd also love to continue getting more resources. I need to get the skyways. I still don't have things like worker compensation, housing blocks, um, parenthood. We can learn a bit more about that. Communal parenthood. Yep, that's even more workers, right? There's things there, better hubs. Oh, God. Yeah, the maintenance hub would reduce the material demand. That could be useful, too. Oh, boy. Let's learn about the Skyways, okay? It's worth it. Everyone agrees this is a good idea. We should get it just so I know that I can get more of the oil figured out. Speaking of which, let's go back to the Dreadnought. And what would it take for me to go ahead and get myself the Fracturing Pump Jack? There you are. Although before I do that, let's go ahead and start frost breaking some more ground. Because I want to be able to expand some districts. And we're about to get a lot more workers anyway, so we might as well hold off for a brief moment. There we go. We'll place one right here. And then I am going to place down the rail hub to boost our production efficiency. I'm going to place down an air transport hub to reduce the workforce requirements in both districts. 15%, this is going to pay for itself. It just costs me a lot of heat. But we can offset that by then also placing down the heating hub, which does take some workers. But maybe this ends up being a net benefit for me? I don't know. I do know that we're now making a fair bit more oil. So that's working out all right. Let's make sure we send more of that back to the city. And my population just skyrocketed. Okay, we got a lot more to work with. That was a net positive in workforce. It was not in oil, though. We are now consuming a lot more heat. 
and a lot of materials. Holy crud. Okay, so how much was that worth it, honestly? I don't I don't really know. Um, the heat requirements... Yeah, boosting the efficiency. It appears that the 80 heat might have made this worse. If I turn this off... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the amount it boosts up our efficiency for our oil is not more than the amount of heat that it requires. Therefore, it is actually better not to have a rail hub here. Okay, these are the kinds of tests that we needed to do. So now we know. Well, we have the Skyways. What are freight docks? Boost up the Skyways capacity and also increase the productivity of the outpost it's connected to. Really? Okay, that could be really good for us. It's expensive. But this could be great. Um, I do need to continue working down progress and not adaptability. I keep going down these routes because it turns out I like this a lot. But progress is still what I'm trying to do for my ethos. So we're going to do this. The automated freight dock seems like a great idea, but it does take a lot of prefabs. Okay, that's worth noting. We're going to need to have a very consistent source of prefabs to make these work. And we're not there quite yet. So let's go ahead and do the scout training and just fulfill the promise. That way I don't have to think about it. But now we know what we need to work toward, and also I need a lot more housing. Gosh dang it. I do feel like it's often worth building your houses kind of in layers like this, right? L uh, just one layer at a time, almost like you're still building out the old rings from Frostpunk 1. That might be crazy, but you can see here we're going to get an absolute ton of heat for doing this. I kind of wonder what the most efficient shape would be. I've been trying to think about this, right? Like if I went over, let's say right here, I got some space to look uh, look at. Would it be worth going one, two, these aren't quite the shape I want. One, two, three, one, two, three, or maybe three, kind of a triangular pattern. See, what I'm trying to think is how do you get the maximum number of sides where you'll be able to have access to three adjacency points on every side so you can easily build with more districts around it. Something like this might work. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one extra here. And then you can expand the district, right? So if you're building all your housing districts like this, and then you keep stacking this exact same shape next to each other, this might be the way that you optimize your efficiency. Either that, or exactly what I was saying earlier, you just keep building out in layers. So uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom, done. See, and that's worth a ton. So like, it, it's something like that. I've got to figure this stuff out before I move on to Captain Difficulty. Otherwise, I am going to get eaten alive. We've also got some sort of an event. What do we have here? Uh, it's for the dutiful youth. Um, fun to remembrance ceremony. I hate losing some heat stamps, but sure. All right, whatever. It's going to make the pilgrims a little bit happier. And right now, they've been causing some issues. I'm going to go ahead and get another extraction district over here and just extract these prefabs. This is very much a temporary district. I will get rid of it later, but I want to go ahead and boost this up without getting more industrial zones for the moment. We're making 19 per week. We do need to be doing a lot better than that. I need to be making at least 60 per week if we want to get ourselves a district that makes our outposts better. So that's going to be important. If we go back to the Frostland, what would it cost me to start getting the Skyways up and running? Right? So this is just to boost up our capacity. Would it even have an impact on something like our research outpost? Doesn't look like we can do much with it. Maybe we can. I actually don't know if this would boost our research at all. Probably not. I bet you that's not a capacity thing at all. And I would actually say don't even bother getting the skyways for something like, let's say, this coal deposit over here. Because the trail has a capacity of 250 and this is only going to be producing 200 anyway. However, sorry, 250, so it's the exact right amount. However, we know that if I do get myself those docks, connecting by Skyways is what gets me the extra production. So, maybe in this case it is worth hooking up to a Skyway anyway. And in the case of coal, where this is going to be running out after, you know, only 210,000 coal, maybe that doesn't matter anyway. But something like 2.4 million materials, that I might care about a bit more. So in fact, yeah, let's try setting up a Skyway over here. Uh, we can connect up over here easily, and then it only takes a couple of connection points to get all the way over. That's a long range. I like this. Well, my material production just skyrocketed. Now I've got 478. Hey, okay. Let's send more of that back to the Dreadnoughts so we can make sure we are meeting their needs. I still have an excess. Oh, but that's my trail capacity. I can't handle that many. Okay, hang on. So that's why we need to have a Skyway then. 
Right, we've got to get one of those built up. Maybe I can get a good prefab factory and this will make things worthwhile. Yeah, I think so. We want to get a standardized prefab to get... Mm, looks like it just costs a little bit more heat. That's not a big deal. This is completely fine. It does cost a steam core, but it's worth it. Let's go ahead and research this idea. Actually, did I misread? Hold on, I'm known for having reading comprehension issues periodically when I'm recording. Was this a maintenance thing? No, that's just the construction cost. What does it actually... What does it actually cost me to operate this? Anything? Or is this once it's built, it's done, it's done? In which case, those are amazing and you need them as fast as possible. Either way, I know that I need to get some more Skyways built up to the old Dreadnought, so let's do that. And I think I just saw a very scary pop-up. Oh god, here we go. Yep, an old enemy. Okay, incoming whiteout. Steward, it was only a matter of time. We had an unusually long streak of mild weather, but now meteorologists are clear. There's a familiar drop in air pressure at higher altitudes. A whiteout is coming. The wind will cause extreme cold and the clouds will blot out the sun, impacting our food production. Without shelter, ample fuel, and a stockpile of food, our people will be at mortal risk. Oh goody. I'll bet you it also interferes with my outpost production. To me, that would just make sense. Great. Okay, so we really need to get on top of our food production. Materials, fuel, I need a lot more fuel. We need everything. Badly, we need everything. Uh, I do want to vote on the Pathfinder Scouts, I guess? I don't really care. Fine, we'll go ahead and pass the vote on it. I only need two votes for it to pass, which is probably what's gonna happen. Uh, oh, yep, exactly the two votes. Okay, well, I was wondering if that wasn't gonna happen, but there it is. All right, so boom, done. And now the Pilgrims are continuing to promote adaptation. Please stop it. I mean, I'm not really upset about it. I get why you're doing it, but like, I also would like you to knock it off. Anyway, let's get pump jacks in both of these last locations. And then we'll see where things hit with an equilibrium. We may not need any more workforce than what we've got right now. I mean, we could extract some prefabs, I suppose. But it's only a few hundred. It doesn't seem worth the extra effort. Maybe we could build a materials hub over here? Sure. Not only to reduce some of the workforce requirements, but also because I might as well stockpile as much oil here as possible as a backup reserve. So yeah, we're now producing 222 oil. Okay, that's pretty good. And with the new Skyway capacity, we can start transferring that oil back to the city. So this is looking solid. And we should be able to transfer enough materials to meet our needs. And I'll even expand out the housing district so I can get one more ventilation tower. And this will solve any problems I'm going to have if I only had a little bit more workforce. Okay, so I actually do need more people, but not much. Let's transfer those over. We'll take care of this. Then I don't even have to worry about squalor. This place will be self-sufficient and I can focus exclusively on the city for a while. Let's get those freight docks up and a-running. Totally worth it. And in the Frostland, we did discover some new stuff. What do we got over here? The last camp. Okay, some survivors of an expedition have been taking refuge in an old coal mine. They refuse to return without their commander. He's our only hope. Bring them home. We need to first resolve the Deserters End Frostland site. What about this one? That's not it. The Discovery Station. Um, okay. We could disassemble a structure to get some prefabs, and that's all we could do. Free prefabs are fine, so we'll go ahead and take that, and let's find another zone to explore. Maybe this high pass? Sure. Honestly, it almost is worth getting myself another one of the logistics hubs at this point. Could be great. Alright, so over here, it looks like there's nothing left to extract. We're gonna go ahead and demolish this sucker. But it's fine. What I'll do is I'll build another industrial hub in its uh, wake. And we should be able to get advantage from all the extra heat and stuff already in place. The infrastructure is perfect. Why not just get a prefab industrial hub? Also, I did say I was gonna get another food factory. So let's go ahead and get this district, place this correctly. We could actually try for some more heat. If I do an expansion, we'll get the workforce requirement reduction. So that's fine. That's not actually how I meant to build that just now, but it's what happened, so okay. The stalwarts are rallying once again a new district. Really? Um, they want us to focus on what? High-rise housing district contributes more workforce, contributes more heat stamps, mobilizes enforcers. Ooh. Well, <clears throat> um, a high-rise housing district, huh? More workforce is nice. This is actually not a uh, substantial amount of extra heat stamps. 
But mobilizing enforcers, the fact that they keep offering me this, I just had a thought. Oh, I wonder. Do you think there's going to be a civil war in this game? Do you think that that is likely? We've got the two extreme fanatical ideologies at each other's throats. Do you think that at some point it's actually going to come to a civil war? And if we had a lot of guard squads, we'd be able to deal with this? Oh, that would be interesting now, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Um, I'm going to go for the active workers. Because I can raise funds pretty well. We don't usually have a ton of issues with our heat stamps. But I do need to keep having more workers to just keep doing more things. So I'm going to do that, but um, that would be very, very, very interesting. And what now do we have? Loud and clear. The stalwarts have begun using oil to power a small radio they've attached to their lamps. That's kind of a cool trick. They claim this will allow them to further ensure the safety for workers and increase efficiency by enabling constant communication. I mean, yeah, managers can report accidents in a heartbeat. Spreadsheets can be updated in real time. This is definitely not going to be used for propaganda or anything at all. Um, okay. Sure. I mean, that's to my advantage. We like propaganda, right? I can use that for good stuff, probably. I'm gonna try building out this district to just go ahead and capture the infinite deep frozen forest. I don't know if this is dumb or not, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. And what I will do is I'll just go ahead and start extracting this with regular sawmills, but once that starts running out, we can just place a deep mining drill and that'll open this up and this district becomes useful still. I'd just rather do that than open up a whole new district, because that adds a lot more heat requirements and so on. Uh, hold on. A beacon of hope. Oh god, the incoming whiteout. People are flocking to the city. Population growth is extremely increased. We're about to have more people than I know what to do with, aren't we? Yes. Flippin' heck. Alright, um, industrial district. Let's go ahead and place these over here. Place you, and then I don't think I ever did build an air transport hub, so we can place one right here, and oh my god, this is gonna save a lot of workforce. Not that I need to save workforce that badly right now, but it's always good to have this as an option. Maybe worth getting some heating uh, demands reduced, right? Do this, reduce heat by a fair bit? Uh, where can I put this to be even more effective? Right along over here we get at least a reasonable amount. Yeah. It just cost me workforce and materials, and I'm about to have more materials than I know what to do with, right? In theory. By the way, we also should get ourselves some additional uh, stockpiles. For our food, because I know I'm going to need a lot of it, so let's do this. And then we should also get ourselves one of these bio-waste hothouses, so now we can produce a lot of extra food out of this district. I know I've got more than I need right now, but that's going to change. And we actually now officially are in the positive on, well, okay, just about everything. Hold on. Fix this, fix this. Boom, done. We actually are now in the positive for everything. This is great. I just realized I built a stupid material stockpile hub over here. Gosh dang it, it's not what I wanted. Get rid of this. Needed fuel. Fuel capacity is what I crave. Okay, we have freight docks. What is outpost operation? Uh, outp uh, outpost upkeep is decreased or production efficiency is increased. Okay, well we all know that I have to keep going down progress, but it's interesting to know that exists. We should go ahead and get our generator 2 upgrade. It's time. If we're going to be having the whiteout approaching soon, which it will be, then it is time for us to go ahead and start working toward the rest of Chapter 2 and move on. I'd like to get into Chapter 3 very soon. Let's get a standardized prefab factory over here so that we can start getting a bit more of this. Running low on cash, that's not a problem. Um, can someone please give me their money? Mobilize more enforcers, we should always be doing that when we can. Can't raise any more funds for a bit. Maybe I'm gonna wish that I had the extra heat stamp income. And actually, now we're back down to having less materials. Hmm. Tell you what, we could work our way out over here. Um, we know that we could get ourselves a silica foundry over at the iron deposit. It's not exactly a permanent source, but it's pretty darn long-lasting. Also, justice has no scabbard. Is that an automaton? Did so did somebody did somebody sick a police automaton on somebody? They upgraded the automatons to respond to a specific frequency on their radios. They've equipped the beasts with searchlights and speakers and mounted them, patrolling the city. The pilgrims believe this is absurd. Uh-huh. Do we allow this? Mobilize the automaton enforcers. Crime has decreased. Oh, no kidding. Increases the wear in districts. More repairs. I mean, this seems like we're going in a dangerous direction, but I'm all for it. This seems quite fun. 
Oh, people got fr frustrated and joined the pilgrims. No, don't do it, no. Do we want to pass a law that would regulate outsiders? We could accept all outsiders, or we could only allow in the productive outsiders. Population grows up a little bit, heat stamp income goes up, and more active workers. Seems like a smart play for me. Any negotiations that would make sense here? Anything I could do easily? Nothing that really excites me. Let's just go ahead and cast the vote. I'm gonna take the risk. Let's see if we get this for free. Without any more... Uh, actually, don't I have the ability to kind of nudge these votes? Ah, we got it anyway. We're fine. We're fine. All is well. Of course, that means we're probably leaving a lot of people out to die um, when the whiteout hits. Which, by the way, I can see on the horizon. There it is. The temperature's gonna drop a lot before this hits. Oh, God. And we just got so many more people and the temperature just dropped again. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, though. Let's not panic. Logistics. I don't have enough heat stamps to build the dang freight docks. No! Pilgrims! Give me money! I don't care if you like me or not. You're giving me your money for some reason. All right, attendant freight dock. Can't place it over there. Can't place it over here. Oh god, I need more- I need- I need- I need- I need more building spots! We've already used up all the building spots! No! All right, that means we have to frost break our way down over here. It's fine, I wanted to do this eventually anyway, right? We're not even producing enough goods anymore. I have too many people. There's too many people in this dang city. It makes me sick. Let's get coal liquefactors. This is something we know we're gonna need, right? Because we want to be able to take the coal that we currently have stockpiled up way more than we know what to do with and start getting the oil. Yes, I think we do want this. Oh, but I still haven't done generator two upgrades. I meant to do that. No! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Logistics district, go, 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 go. Frostlanders, what did you discover in the gorge? A hot springs refuge. Dismantle the station or rebuild the station. Need to get a trail here first, and then we can rebuild it. Why would I want to? I bet you you get something good from it, though. Would it be worth? Well, let's just see. We can hook it up like this. That wouldn't take too long, right? Let's try it. I can't believe we're still not producing enough oil over here, though. This actually does scare me a little bit. Because how will I be able to survive this if I can't get enough oil fast enough? <sighs> Do we need more pump jacks? Is that the thing? We just need more of them? Expanding the district will boost up its um, production a little bit. So let's do that. Yeah, I think we just need to get more of these uh, fracturing pump jacks. I can build three more of them. I need a few more people. I'm out of housing. And I'm starting to run low on things like food and goods again. And this is going to keep costing me more and more materials. But it's the only way to get enough oil. So we have to do it. I've got 40 more teams to work with. Um, I don't think at this point there's much value in trying to get any more outposts. Because I bet you're about to lose all of them. Why can't I rebuild this? I've already... I thought I already did something here. We have to reestablish contact. Did I not build a trail? Because I thought I did. Uh, I definitely built a trail. We have no need for this unless we reestablish contact with the hot springs. Okay. Well, um... I guess I'll just dismantle the station then. Oh, now we can rebuild it. Okay, use this to rebuild or improve our relations. Improve our relations with whom? Hmm, okay. I don't, I don't know why we would want to do this. It feels like a weird order to do stuff. What's this? Hold on, intruders just arrived at the Dreadnought. The Wanderers are back! Oh god, they're furious! Maybe I shouldn't have messed up with their bodies. I didn't know! Um, they asked to at least provide a stockpile of oil. They seem desperate to be a threat. Give them 30,000 oil? That's a lot of oil. Or, protect the colony because they're a threat. Oh god. Um, I will give the 30,000 oil. That is a lot of oil, to be fair, but I've also been working on it for a while. There's their encampment. So they've now set up outside. They're expecting us to hand over the oil. I will do it. The old dreadnought will be safe from raids? Oh my god, they could be literal raiders! Holy cram! What else would make sense for some research right now? We've got a lot of our heating upgrades. I've got almost everything I can. What's the heat dispatcher? Uh, constructed in various different districts, which I guess just reduces heat. So, this seems terrible. Unless I'm misunderstanding how this works, because it seems like it's going to require a fair bit of workforce to maintain. Just to give us a bit of heat. But, like, I could do that with a heating hub for less workforce for more, right? So why would this be a good idea? It boosts the generator's output. Boosts it. Huh. 
We could go for the advanced pump jacks. Take some more of those steam cores. Get a lot of extra oil. Lots of squalor, too, if we do that. Um, charcoal waste management facilities could be a good idea. Greatly decrease the squalor, but that takes more steam cores. We could do the extreme technologies. Harvester hangers, a way of getting some extra harvesting efficiency. Food output. Meh. I don't know if I care about that. I do like the idea of more production efficiency in outposts, though. This will only take four weeks. Let's go ahead and research it. We are ripping through the technology right now. Oh, and I never did actually build my silica foundry over here. Let's go ahead and build this out like so. Oh, God. Frick me, and I forgot again. Hold on. Um, logistics. Attend and freak dock. Yes. Build! I want to see exactly what the benefit is. We should also go to the central area and build the surplus injectors. It takes a lot of my cores, but I don't want to forget that I need to do this. Because you know I'm going to screw that up and spend all my cores and then I'll be crying. The stalwarts have now begun their automaton patrols. I mean, yes, I, I, did, I did tell them to do that because it gets me a lot of guard squads. Crime will not be an issue here. We just got a ton more materials for getting this iron up and running, by the way. 240 output seems pretty darn good. And we can make that even better with the Silica Foundry, which just takes a bit of heat and workers to get a ton more. Disease risk goes up, sure. We may need to consider getting another hospital very soon. But we got space for that, that's fine. And with the extra materials, we can go back to industrial and make sure we get ourselves some more other stuff. I do also want to get one of these... Uh, coal liquefactors. Where can I place that? Any industrial hub? Okay. Takes a core to do that, though. Still, it lets me start turning the coal into something useful, so we will. And we'll also get another calibrated goods factory just so I can make sure our goods production is okay, because we are constantly struggling on that front. Did we finish with this hub thing? We did. Okay. Hold on. So we now are getting a lot of extra oil. I don't remember what it was before. But we've definitely gained a lot all of a sudden. Now it's up to plus 134. That seems pretty good. Can we actually see somewhere exactly how much is being produced and transferred? Uh, no, I don't really know. What about the other outposts? Can we see, for example, this was producing, what, 250? So, okay, yeah. So by Skyway, now we're producing 310. So that actually was worth a fair bit. Okay, very, very good. Now all I need to do is have enough oil to just turn on the thing. Where is it? Surplus. Done! We can survive the whiteout. That is the next goal. Chapter 2 is almost done. We're going to end this video here, though. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you are looking forward to the rest of this series, because so far we're doing great. But, oh boy, it's getting scarier and scarier by the minute. Thank you again to AMD for the sponsorship. I'm having a great time. Don't forget to enter into that sweepstakes in the description down below. And, of course, get the game for yourself. You can find out more on the Steam page, and there's a link there as well. Hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.